Thank you. Thank you, Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga. We thank you very much. At this juncture, allow me also now to invite the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Samuel Samoy Ruto, to also convey his remarks. Wananchi wataka tunawaomba tuweze kutulia kwa heshima ya baba yetu. Your Excellency the Deputy President. Thank you very much Bishop. Mheshimiwa Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta Rais wa Jamhuri yetu ya Kenya na Amiri Jeshi Mkuu Mama Margaret Kenyatta Mama wetu wa Taifa Familia ya Rais wetu wa tatu Judy na familia yako Jimmy na familia yako David na familia yako Anthony na familia yako pamoja na extended family ya mzee wetu baba wa taifa wa tatu mzee Mwai Kibaki your graces and your lordships uh, bishops ndugu viongozi wote wenzangu walio hapa arata a mwai wake wake Moriega Moriega Renge Mwadhani Agosho Ngai no Mwega Na ende shode Mheshimiwa Rais Tumekuja hapa wewe ukituongoza kama kiongozi wetu wa taifa tuje tufariji familia ya rais wetu wa tatu Mheshimiwa Mwai Kibaki alikuwa baba wa taifa na alikuwa baba ya watu wengi mbali na familia yake And in a very special way I want to thank the Mwai Kibaki family for agreeing to share your father with the rest of us who came to know him We are truly grateful Mwai Kibaki was a father to you but he also became a father to many other Kenyans. We have come here to mourn his demise, but to also celebrate him as a father of the nation of Kenya. To the people of Thonguri and Odaya, thank you very much for bringing up a great Kenyan who today we are celebrating. Tunawashukuru sana. Mzee, baba wetu Mwai Kibaki, kutoka hapa, dongori hapa, odaya, katika kijiji ambacho ni kama ile ya Bethlehemu ya Yesu ambaye haikuwa inajulikana sana lakini he accomplished many things from here he became a great scholar he became a great economist he became a great leader and of course 
a great president and a father of the nation. If there is a demonstration of bottom up, we can learn from Y Kibaki. We must, inspired by President Mwai Kibaki, we must keep the doors of opportunity for many more children in this village and in other villages of Kenya inspired by Mwai Kibaki, that they too can be great in their nation if they work hard and if they pray. Mudaura has said, and I agree with him, that Mwai Kibaki is the father of modern day Kenya. It is true. Mwai Kibaki planted Mwai the Kibaki. seeds of what has become the greatest transformation of our infrastructure under him and under our fourth president, President Uhuru Kenyatta. He laid the foundation the man who lays here today. And even as he thought about big infrastructure projects, Mwai Kibaki did not forget the ordinary people. He did not forget. And that is why, under Mwai Kibaki, he made sure that motorbikes was zero rated and that is when border border came into being and today it is a sector that hires close to 1.4 million Kenyans he was great but he was also simple and so as we celebrate his life, as we celebrate Mwai Kibaki, we must remember that in him we had an embodiment of the unity of our nation. At a very personal level, allow me, Bishop, to say, when my boss, President Kenyatta, and I were in trouble with the ICC cases. Mwai Kibaki stood as a father to us. At a very personal level again, when I became his Minister for Agriculture, and me and my peers Romano Kiyome went to see him about the challenges we were having in fertilizer, which had gone up to about 5,000 shillings a 50 kilogram bag. His wisdom and understanding gave us the opportunity, under his guidance, to reduce the prices of fertilizer to 2,500. And the first subsidized fertilizer in Kenya was brought about by the third president, President Mwai Kibaki. At a very personal level again, when I was promoted to the Ministry of Higher Education, and we had a backlog of university students, under his guidance again, we managed to have another double intake that henceforth 
removed the backlog that students had to wait for at least two years to be able to go to university after they complete their Form 4. And finally, as um, Mudawara has said, under President Kibaki's guidance, my peers at the Ministry of Higher Education, Professor Kiamba and I, under his guidance, we started to roll out the Tibet program that President Uhuru Kenyatta has built upon, and that is why we have close to 200 Tibet institutes across the country. So, at a very personal level, I can attest, and I am a witness, and I, and I can bear testimony that Mwai Kibaki is the father of modern-day Kenya. And therefore, it is befitting that we celebrate his life and we learn lessons from him. And I think a befitting send-off to all of us as we celebrate the third president of Kenya is for us to go into this election and make sure that election will be peaceful and that it won't be necessary for us to have a handshake, that the election will be peaceful. I think we owe it to President Mwai Kibaki as we send him off. From my wife Rachel and children, to Mze Mwai Kibaki and his family, fare thee well. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Allow me, allow me one, one, uh, one, one, one minute, uh, Bishop. In our midst, we have many leaders. Let me ask all the MCAs to stand up. Asante Sana, thank you very much. A clap for the MCAs. Let me ask, let me request all members of parliament to stand up. Wale wote waliokuja. Asante sana waishimiwa kwa kuja ili tuweze kusindikiza mzee wetu. Let me request all the senators to stand up so that we can recognize you. Thank you very much. Those are our senators who came to bid farewell. Let me request all the governors and deputy governors to stand up so that we can recognize you. Tuapigie makofi. Asante sana. In our midst also, we have our former Vice President, um, Musalia Mudavadi. And we have our former Vice President, Kalonso Musioka, in our midst. Thank you very much, my brother. And I don't know whether we have Mze Mudi Awori, who was also a Vice President to Mwai Kibaki. He was there yesterday. Thank you very much. I thought of recognizing those leaders. Asante San. Thank you. Maybe at the same breath, may we recognize the speakers of the National Assembly and the Senate. Thank you. May we also recognize the judiciary represented here by Lady Justice Home. Thank you. At this juncture, we wish to honor the request of the family that they would like to have a special blessing here. Together with our dear president, Ohuru Mwigai Kenyatta, and our dear First Lady. So I'll kindly request that the family, the immediate family, come nearby and request Bishop Peter Kihara to lead that prayer over the family. I request the choir to sing just one stanza to give a chance for the family and then we invite His Excellency the President 
before we invite him for the final remarks and condoling message to the family. One stanza, please, choir. Your Excellency the President, you can wait until they set themselves up. One stanza. At this juncture, we will ask all to be seated. We will invite, we are here with all the religious leaders who are here present. We request the religious leaders, we request all the religious leaders to stand up, both those who are here from the various religions and faiths. We also have some religious leaders in our midst. I will kindly request you, if you are there, just stand where you are and extend your hand over this family as a prize being led by Bishop Kihara. We we'll pray for this beloved family who have taken care of our former president. At the same time, a prayer of our nation. Dear brothers and sisters, religious leaders,